uh, five minutes. Uh, I'm here to share with you the relaunch of Open Data Philly. This is the second version, uh, just launched a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I thought it might be helpful to walk through, sort of from my perspective, um, but this is a, uh, what the history of Open Data is. But this is a perfect group because Open Access Philly, when it was still meeting at the city, uh, a point of correction, I actually wasn't at the original meeting. So I joined like six months in. Oh, okay, and, sorry. Uh, and, and, but, the, but this group was a catalyst for uh, the original Open Data Philly being launched. And uh, uh, my history of Open Data for Philadelphia goes back to 2003 when the city started releasing uh, its geospatial data sets on PASDA. Open Data Philly itself, uh, in collaboration with this group and the city and technically Philly and others, launched Open Data Philly version 1 in 2011. We ran something called the Open Data Race later that year. That ended up um, getting unveiled again at, at a meeting uh, of Open Access Philly. Uh, and that uh, later indirectly led to the mayor's executive uh, order on Open Data, Chief Data Officer. Uh, these days, Open Data is a full team of folks at the city. Um, and a few weeks ago, we relaunched uh, Open Data Philly. So this is what Open Data looked like back in 2003, uh, the PASDA website. Uh, this is the last version of Open Data Philly when it first launched in 2011. Um, and the new version is, uh, it's one of the, it's, a, it's the only big city open data portal that is managed by a broader community. It's not uh, managed by the, uh, the city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia contributes to it, city staff work on it, uh, but it's managed by a mix of uh, Azavia, um, the Temple Center for Public Interest Journalism, uh, and lots of other contributors. There's an active mailing list. Uh, where people will ask questions and discuss these uh, things about open data. Um, let's see here. Uh, this latest version was funded by our company, Azavia, and a grant from the Knight Foundation. We've got over 260 data sets from 55 organizations. So 54 of the organizations are not the city of Philadelphia. Uh, that's a pretty unusual for an open data portal. We've added commenting and sharing capabilities, um, and it's built on a software uh, tool called CCAN. Why do this? Open data is not just good for its own sake. It's not just sort of eat your vegetables, uh, good government. Um, it helps us build uh, beautiful things that uh, make our communities better. This is a crime mapping application built by Dave Walk uh, that uses open data in Philadelphia. This is a, a land inventory put together by Catherine Killebrew for urban agriculture. Uh, this is Unlock Philly put together by a team at uh, Code for Philly and Girl Develop It. Uh, building energy benchmarking visualization application uh, from the Mayor's Office of Sustainability, uh, and even things like uh, crime forecasting tools that our, our company is working on. We want all of you to participate. You're all invited. Uh, you all have responsibilities as well, uh, whether that is uh, building and showcasing great projects, uh, those are some budget applications, advocating for data quality and standards, uh, providing feedback. You can add your feedback to Open Data Philly now, uh, participating in organizations like Code for Philly, like uh, maybe Chris, if you have questions about Code for Philly, ask Chris back there. Um, great, great organization, one of the biggest uh, Code for America brigades in the country, very active, doing some wonderful work. And there's a uh, mailing list, a Google group, uh, you all can join, call Open Data Philly. Um, and finally, I'd say when you're talking to your elected officials, there's campaigns going on all this spring, uh, make sure they know about this. They've all had a chance to hear about it. Make sure they know that open data, transparency, and the economic development and other kinds of tangible benefits are really worth their support. Uh, uh, why do, what does this mean for us? Why do we get involved? We do a lot of both software development in the civic uh, technology space, but we also have a data analytics team. One final quick announcement, I don't know how much time I have, uh, our Summer of Maps program is starting, uh, it, uh, it is, uh, currently has applications open for students. Any student that's in an accredited institution can apply for the program. It provides a $5,000 fellowship. We match the students with two nonprofit organizations that have uh, interesting data sets and complex uh, spatial analysis challenges. Uh, and then they, they work in our office, they get paired with a mentor, a uh, 12 week program. It's competitive, but it's open to anyone in the country. Uh, and if you have uh, folks that are students, or if you're students yourselves, you're all invited. Thanks very much. Awesome.